hard work really begins. Uh, you know, the first goal of every team is to make the playoffs. The second goal is to win a championship. So, um, you know, we just completed one of our goals. Uh, you know, wish it was under different circumstances, but the boys played well. Um, good to get a win at home uh, on fan appreciation night. Um, good to see a packed house, so it was uh, overall a good, good night for us. And good to beat Rochester in the process. Yeah, it's always good to beat Rochester. Uh, you know, a big rival for us, and, uh, you know, they took it to us pretty good the last game down in Rochester, so it was good to take it to them a little bit. Did you say anything to the guys when it, when Toronto came back made it 7-5 there? Raj, no, no, not, not too worried then. Um, you know, fourth quarter, I was, I was a little upset, you know, hanging Cosmo out to dry like that after what it, such a great game he played. We're going to let him score four goals in the fourth quarter. So, you know, it, it, you know, fourth quarter wasn't the best, but, you know, that comes from, you know, let's just kill the clock. Let's just get this game over with where, you know, we talked about it at the end of the third. Keep going forward. We got this lead playing a certain way. Keep playing this way. So uh, we didn't do that, and they come back to, you know, didn't kill us, but uh, it definitely hurt us. And Cosmo made a lot of big saves, but he also made a lot of them look easy tonight. Saw the ball real well. Yeah, yeah, they had, they, you know, they had a lot of good opportunities. He played really well, um, and at other times we did a really good job of, of giving them good angles, good bad angle shots, and, and shots under pressure. So, combination of both, good defense and a really, really good goaltending. Matt, G- Matt Giles on a night where he gets the Unsung Hero Award continues with you know four assists, a couple of goals, and, and setting picks left and right. Uh, yeah, he's been a, he's been a good addition. Um, you know, just want that consist- consistency out of him. It's same as everybody. Uh, really good job. I'm glad he won the Unsung Hero. He does all the little dirty work that a lot of guys won't do, and uh, he creates a lot of opportunities for other players. Good to have Tracy back as well tonight. Yeah, Tracy played really well. He got to, you know bury the opportunities he got. Um, you know, we sort of sat him out the fourth quarter, wanted uh, to give him a rest just you know just in case anything happened. So uh, uh, he didn't play much in the fourth, but he did a great job when he was in there. A few more games. What have you seen out of McNamara? Uh, steady. He, he's doing a good job. He had a rough game in Edmonton, um, but but tonight I thought he did a really good job. You know, we still got to tighten up our defense. We got to have better slides. We got to have quicker slides, and we got to have more pressure on the ball. Um, you know, all, all things we've been talking about all year, and, and, and it's still the same same thing. Um, you know, we do it at times, and we don't do it at times. Um, so we we just have to be more consistent as a team. And we saw more discipline tonight as well. Not so many penalties and no majors taken. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's something we've been talking about all season too, and, and they finally. Uh, did a good job uh, of staying out of the box and, and, and letting us play five on five and getting a rhythm. And, you know, when we get, get in a rhythm on offense, we're pretty good. And when we get a rhythm on defense, we're pretty good. So, uh, you know, we want to stay. We want to keep the game five on five, and they did a good job of that tonight. Is it a big deal on a night when JT only has two assists, no goals, that you still manage to score 14? Yeah, I think it says a lot about what we can do when the ball's hot and, and everybody's sticking to the game plan. Um, you know, JT, I don't know, I don't know what he was doing tonight. He passed up a lot of good opportunities, and uh, you know, I, I, you know, I kept telling him just, just shoot it, just shoot it. You know, I don't care if the guys in your shooting lane, you got. 2,000 points, 1,500 points, whatever. <laughs> Whoever you're thinking of passing it to is probably 1,500 points behind you. So, you know, I, he, he just passed up a lot of good opportunities. I, I just wish he took more shots. Vintage Mark Stainhouse tonight, uh, eight points, four, four and four, whatever it seemed like. He really made the exam on all night. Hey, what's up, Larry? Yeah, he uh, he does a great job. Um, you know, he stuck to the game plan tonight. The ball was hot. Um, you know, the ball's always going to come back to him at some point. So you know, he doesn't he doesn't need to monopolize the possession. Um, and when he, when, he, when he's consistent with that, it, it helps our offense tremendously. And then, and then in the end, he's the one that's going to end up with an opportunity. And uh, he did a really good job of that tonight. Do you think you're taking a gamble dressing only five D tonight? Or are we not worried about it? Uh, we dress ten every game. We have two lines of defense, and we have eight offensive guys. Um, so uh, it didn't really didn't really take a gamble anywhere. Uh, Jeremy did a great job. Um, you know, everybody was pretty steady, uh, and that's what we need. We need steady. We don't need great plays. We need steady plays. So uh, you know, I, I was happy with the, with the defense at points, and I was unhappy at other points. Such a tumultuous season, as you mentioned. One goal accomplished. The next goal is a championship. How much energy does this team have left in the tank? Are they are they ready to go on a run? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, it should have a lot of energy. There's a lot of games this year we didn't put out for. You know, you know, I, I, I think we didn't put out the extra effort. So, um, you know, the, the big thing now is we haven't been very good on the road. We got another road game coming up to get ready for the playoffs, and then we'll probably be on the road throughout the playoffs. So, you know, we better get that straightened around if we want to make any kind of run in the playoffs. We got to, we got to play well on the road. With the playoff spot clinched in Washington, maybe not that much to play for next week. How do you approach next week's game? <laughs> Dress himself, uh, you know. It's, we don't have a lot of options. I think we had one guy sit tonight that, that was actually healthy enough to go. 
other than that, you know, we had a lot of little nagging injuries that sort of added up, and, and we had guys on a suspension list, and you know, Steve Pirro ended up with Bono, so he's probably done for the season. So uh, all these little things are adding up to, uh, you know, we're really short on numbers. So we're going to go with who's healthy, and uh, don't really want to change the lineup too much. We want to keep the rhythm going, and, and hopefully get guys ready for the playoffs.